Hey, it's James from Active, and today I'm gonna to answer some questions that we've been getting from you guys on our YouTube channel. So I'll just start with Mike Muell, who asked, he wanted to understand the internals of the short gun, what they were made of, metal versus plastic. He mentioned that he saw lots of knockoffs on Amazon, and what is really the difference between um, our gun and theirs as it relates to quality, performance, and longevity. The only plastic in our gun, the short gun, the active short gun, is really the outer casing and even that has a rubber overmold on the grip for you know aesthetic reasons and also uh, for structural integrity and just overall design and feel. Uh, we do conduct drop tests on the unit one meter uh, five times uh, and it can't rupture or leak and this is to make sure the plastic is durable enough. Most of the uh, internals are full 304 stainless, except the valve is full brass construction. And that's really due to limitations on being able to machine that part out of stainless steel, which is harder to machine than brass. Uh, these are all uh, comparable to, let's say, the Mossmatic and every other gun out there. And that's specifically how we designed and chose the materials uh, for the product. I don't think you'll see this type of construction in those knockoff guns that you're seeing at Amazon or other places that are at much lower price points because those are really stocked, they'll have more plastic, it'll be different housing and certainly wouldn't be made of full 304 stainless. So uh, those are the elements that are going to impact performance and longevity and things like the drop test so they don't crack. You know, these things are usually used out in a driveway or a house environment and put on the ground. Uh, so that is really important to the durability of the product. On, on YouTube again, asking when this is going to be available in the U.S. We expect to distri distribute um, in the middle of May. The container is just landing as we speak, and you can subscribe to our newsletter or this YouTube channel for uh, updates on that. Question from a couple people as it relates to the gun and the accessory and kind of how and why we didn't include it with the 2.0. Well, that's, that's kind of a, a more complicated question. So uh, some people wish the 2.0 full kit came with the short gun. They, they felt that, you know, we shouldn't have had this as an upgrade and maybe it would have come, as, come together with the product because people are upgrading it anyway. Those are all decent comments. So what I'll say is this, number one, we are working on a full line of accessories to compete with people like McAllen's and uh, MTM. Um, and we are hopefully going to push that out very soon and give you updates on that. The reason why we didn't include it with the 2.0 full kit was A, it wasn't ready when we were launching the 2.0 and we didn't want to delay the 2.0 launch anymore. And B, including a more expensive gun with the 2.0 and 2.0 full kit then drives the retail of the full kit higher than it already is. And many users out there don't upgrade their gun and their hose and the full kit should be very effective for most people. There are, of course, many people who buy kind of the unit alone or even the full kit that do end up upgrading their accessories. And, and that's really why it really becomes a what do we want the retail price point to be? And by including the, the short gun, would it, would it drive the retail too high for most people? And would most people find value in having that short gun? Uh, versus a regular gun that that is included in the full kit that so that's kind of the maybe the business side that that uh, in, in terms of that decision now if there's enough feedback that everybody wants the 2.0 with the short gun and let's say an enhanced accessory kit or higher quality or more call it detailer specific accessory kit uh, we can certainly do that and we'll be looking at the comments to see if we will we will do that for sure from q03 as I said, are all the internal stainless steel or brass or nickel plated? Um, only the swivel and quick connect is stainless steel or all the internal stainless? So again, lots of questions on what the internals are made of. Uh, no component is nickel plated. All internal components are stainless steel 304 or brass. And again, most of that is due to technical limitations in terms of machining the part in stainless steel versus brass. Um, again, comparable with all the high end short guns on the market. What is the pressure required to pull the trigger and compare that to other stubby guns or short guns, I assume? We spent a lot of time engineering the trigger feel of this product. And, you know, we used the Mossmatic kind of as our muse in terms of how it felt. The trigger has a click to it similar to the Mossmatic and doesn't require a lot of force to hold it down once you've passed the click. 
and that's really kind of engineered that way so the hand doesn't get as tired. There are designs out there now which are called zero force triggers. This is not yet a zero force trigger. We are working on that as well. That's a bit of a different construction. Um, and that really is geared to once you pass the clicking point that there's really no resistance or push back that way uh, to fatigue your hand. However, this should be pretty good in that sense. And the click was engineered on purpose so that you could have that meaningful tactile feel when you engage the trigger. Some people like it, some people don't, but again, we use the Mossmatic as our guide. For a guy from BV, um, love what you guys have done so far. Could you add a hook or design feature that will allow the gun and hose to hang from the shelf? That'd be very convenient. Again, great feedback, great idea, and it's certainly something we'll look to incorporate in some of our future designs. How heavy is it? I know some of them are pretty heavy and some are pretty light. I'd like to know how heavy it is. First of all, I'd say we did shrink the gun uh, overall dimensions and size from the Mossmatic while still being easy to use and enough, call it um, plastics to make sure it was durable. We use nylon in terms of the plastic, which is, which is the most durable plastic and really costs probably double kind of cheaper ABS materials. And then again, as I said, we have the over molds. I don't have the exact weight, but it would be comparable to, to higher quality ones, you know, the full metal construction ones. So again, it'll be, it'll be um, as good or better, I think, than what's out there in the market. Steve Temlek says, what does it do that others don't? That's a good question. Uh, it does exactly what everyone else does, but I would say the way it's built, the way it's constructed, the ergonomics, again, we've tried to put our input into it and make it the best we can. We've had input from people like OG, on where critical elements of call it having the swivel are in order to make it easier to use. Uh, like I said, we benchmarked the Mossmatic trigger feel. So we tried to really incorporate a lot of elements into the product and the design and the build of it to make it better and unique in the marketplace. Another question, how does trigger resistance compare to the MTM SGS 28? Again, this is a bit of a subjective thing because some people prefer the click. Some people prefer no click at all. Some people prefer no resistance. Some people prefer a medium amount of resistance. Some of this can be engineered into the product, the way you build it, the, the kind of mechanism you use. This is, we just happen to choose, again, the Mossmatic as the target and a resistance level that we felt was appropriate to give a feeling of quality and kind of making it durable. The good news is for those of you that really don't like the click, there is a way to remove the click and we will get into that in a future video if that becomes an issue for some people out there or people really can't stand the click and we get feedback that people want to remove it. So subscribe here and we will get into that in a future video. Um, I hope that answered some of your questions that we've been getting lately. And as always, thanks for your support. If you have more questions or I didn't answer something or there's something else you want to know, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again. Thank you.